There's three things you don't do as a creator. One is don't chase clout because it's never going to end well. The second is not to plagiarize because everyone will find out. And the last one is don't use AI. Nobody likes that. Don't use it. But what does that have to do with anything? Well, today we have some juicy FNAF drama to talk about, which is the cancellation of FNAF Plus. And no, I'm not talking about the FNAF Plus that got canceled months ago. I'm talking about the FNAF Plus fan game that just got canceled today. So what am I yapping about? Well, right after the FNAF Plus game got canceled, a content creator by the name of Lost Paw Plays, who primarily focuses on FNAF, by the way, beautiful thumbnails. These are amazing. They decided to take it into their own hands and make a FNAF Plus fan game. And they did this in only under a month which is really impressive because the game actually looks really good. And a bunch of content creators decided to pick up the game and play it. There was one issue and you might be seeing it. The main issue is everyone is calling it FNAF Plus. They're not calling it the FNAF Plus fan game. They're calling it FNAF Plus. And so if you're just like me and you woke up and went on Twitter, you can see thousands of tweets about the game. And there's a lot of people who are supportive of the game saying like this is amazing that they did it under a month but why did fnaf plus the original take over three years to make but there's also other creators who are calling the game out saying hey you're using ai this isn't cool like why are you doing this hello hello hello, hello. well hello. welcome to franny Pat so Lost Paul, instead of just hiring someone to do the voice acting or doing the voice acting himself, decided to use AI to mimic Scott Cawthon's voice, which, by the way, is not cool. Nobody likes that. There's huge discussions already about AI being used to mimic people's voices. And so this is not a good look for Lost Paul. And so this is where the juicy drama starts. A creator by the name of Kane Carter decided to call out Lost Paul. And if you don't know who Kane Carter is, well... They're the developer of Pop Goes, a really big fanverse game that everyone's excited for. But if you also might recognize him from these tweets when he tweeted about Markiplier, who on Mark's team is notifying him about 150 follower Game Jolt fan game called Locked in Sewer and not FNAF Plus. Because in the stream that Mark did, he said he doesn't know what FNAF Plus is. Mark <laughs> responded to it, said, do you think I have a team? And Kane Carter famously said this well at the very least you have a video editor and someone who searches for mark on twitter please look into fnaf plus in the fazbear fanverse which is wild to me that he would tweet this and i know there was no ill intent behind this tweet it's just funny that he tweeted this but anyways that's who kane carter is with this behemoth of a paragraph let's go ahead and dive into what kane carter said about lost paul is anyone else slightly weirded out by this fnaf plus recreation being treated as its real deal by big fnaf youtubers and i agree with this i think it is weird that youtubers are purposely saying FNAF Plus when it isn't FNAF Plus. It's just a fan game of it. And I 100% agree with that. To be fair though, YouTubers do clickbait. I clickbait. A lot of creators clickbait. But there's a point where the clickbaiting becomes misleading. And that's what Kane Carter's talking about. It's misleading. Everyone thinks, oh, FNAF Plus is out. When in reality, it's just a fan game of it. It uses AI to reconstruct Scott Cawthon's voice without permission. And this is huge. Lost Paul decided to use AI to mimic uh, Scott Cawthon's voice without permission and that's not okay at all and i 100 percent agree with king carter on this that is that's not cool the dev is profiting from the game via donation links and donations are shared on the dev's twitter profile don't get me wrong this game isn't bad especially for how quickly it was made but it's not fnaf plus and i think it's very weird that the dev is profiting from content that he did not come up with and that YouTubers are just kind of lying. And I agree with King Carter here. The fact that Lost Paul is profiting off of it is scummy. While some may come into his defense and say, no, he's not profiting off of it because it's via donations. I agree. That is a good way to make money while still not going over copyright and like selling a product that is not yours. But it's the fact that he's using FNAF plus name. If I were to sell something like Coca-Cola Mix, right? If I say, hey, it's mine, it's not Coca-Cola, it's just the name of it, it's still using it, right? You can say FNAF Plus fan game, but it's still FNAF Plus. So you're driving that advertisement and that wording and the fact that there was so much hype for it for you to make profit off of it, which is a little scummy. And I do agree with Kane Carter on this. You can hate Phil, you can wish FNAF Plus never happened, but this feels at least a bit immoral. And I agree, this is immoral. The Lost Paul shouldn't have done that. He could have just named it anything else because he actually did make a fantastic game in under a month. That is huge props, but he shouldn't have used AI. He should not have been profiting off of this. Now, what is Lost Paul's response to this? Well, 
it's not good. Honestly, I didn't expect this game to be mistaken for the original, which is weird because he calls it FNAF plus fan game, which is like, you're still using the game. So I don't know how you think people aren't going to mistake it when it's in the name itself. And also it's a fan verse game, which means they already know it's a fan game. So the, the, the name fan made does not help at all in this situation. I just want to recreate the game, that's all. So yes, I agree with you. Although, talking about nations, they are not forced. Any work has the right to be assessed, even with money. I do not agree. I think if you're making a product, let's say like Naruto merch, and you're saying, well, I'm not saying it's from Naruto. I'm just making, I'm just profiting off the materials and work I do. No, you're using the name itself and the hype behind it to make money off of it. So I don't agree with Lost Paul here. I do agree with the fact that he just wants to recreate the game. That's perfectly fine. Call it something else though, right? Don't use the name. Don't try to make donations off of it. It's a little scummy from there. So this next part is where things get even crazier. By the way, I'm gonna be skipping a lot of this stuff. Like I said, go read this yourself. There's a lot of information that is important here, but I'm just gonna look over uh, due to, I'm only gonna be talking about certain things. Also checking out, do you really not credit Phil anywhere in the game? Which is crazy because Phil actually made the first FNAF Plus game. Well, it never got released, but he still made it, made the models, which this fan made game is heavily based on. It's even the name, right? He uses such similar models that you could pretty, that's why people are thought it was the original game. I just want to recreate the game. That's all. That's not the impression I've gotten from you. All I'm seeing here is spite and ego. You may not be so different from Phil. By the way, if you don't know why Phil got canceled, it was 100% because of ego. That's really what it was. But anyways, that's not what we're going to be talking about here. We're going to be talking about what is going on. So Lost Paul says this himself. Stop supporting the original FNAF Plus. People need to gain some understanding and realize that Phil Morg was just lucky to be included in the Freddy Fazbear's initiative. He won't create a masterpiece. Let's cancel it. A good game doesn't happen in three years. But seriously, let him not even hope. After all, I did it in a day. And what happened in a day is wonderful. I am not CSW. By no means, I simply express an objective opinion. Objective, because many people think the same. That is not, first of all, that is not how objective opinions work. No opinion is objective, which is crazy to me that he would say opinion and objective in the same sentence just because a lot of people agree. That's not how any of this works. I'm sorry to tell you this, buddy. Just because 100 people think the same way doesn't mean they're all correct. Lost Paul continues on with saying it was a joke. Yes, perhaps specific, but still, that is not a joke. First of all, you're saying that your opinion is objective and that he, we should cancel the game. That is not a joke, buddy. That's far from it. Whatever, sure, right? A joke, terrible one, first of all. Objectively true, it's a terrible one. Not convinced. You seem to have consistently compared yourself as superior to Phil on your platforms. I don't think your project was made to provide an experience for fans. I think it was one up Phil by trying to do better than him. Which Lost Paul goes on to say, everyone knows that the game was canceled, which means that it's a fan made. It should be clear. But unfortunately, I didn't think that many would consider this an original. It wasn't clear because a lot of people aren't perpetually online. I'm going to be honest with you. Not everyone's going to know FNAF Plus got canceled. I was talking to one of my friends about why, how it got canceled two days ago. They didn't even know. And they're a huge FNAF fanverse person. So a lot of people, when they see YouTubers saying, hey, FNAF Plus is out, everyone's going to think, oh my God, FNAF Plus is out. Let me download this and let me play it. It's amazing. I don't know who the creator is. Oh, it's Lost Paul. Perfect. I'm going to donate to them because I think this is amazing, right? That's what's going to happen with the vast majority of people. To be fair, vast majority of people aren't going to donate. They're just going to watch and play. But yes, a lot of people aren't online all the time and don't know who made what, what happened here and there. Not everybody knows. So what happened from here? Well, let me tell you, Scott Cawthon started putting his foot down and he started asking YouTubers, hey, can you delete your video? Because that is not okay that he used my voice without my permission. It is copyright infringement. Not only that, he made a game so similar to FNAF Plus, it is copyright because it still has the name as well. So Daco tweeted out, hey guys, so Scott has kindly asked me to remove my FNAF Plus fan game video. And I will of course respect that. I just want to make this clear before pe uh, people wonder why my video has been destroyed. Someone asked why? The phone guy voice. 
which is Scott Cawthon's voice, which Lost Paul used AI to recreate it. Even 8-Bit Ryan tweeted out saying, in case anybody wonders why my FNAF Plus video isn't public anymore, this is why. It makes sense, right? Scott is close to 8-Bit Ryan, Daco, and many other YouTubers that he's just gonna ask them like, hey, can you not make this game popular by sharing it? And they're just gonna be like, yeah, sure, dude, why not? <laughs> it, it makes sense, right? They support Scott, I support Scott, and if Scott's like, hey, I didn't give you permission to use my voice. Why are you doing this? You probably shouldn't do it. So you might be wondering, okay, what has Scott or the original FNAF Plus people have, have they said anything? Are they going to say anything? And well, it's actually not looking good because today the FNAF Plus uh, Twitter account just went private and all the YouTube videos were removed. This is the original FNAF Plus. This is not a good look. So a lot of people are going to be furious at last Paul because they're going to think, hey, not only did you do this, not only are creators deleting their videos and losing money from this, but now the original twi Twitter is going privated. So there's a lot of drama happening and a lot of people are freaking out now because now it's confirmation that FNAF Plus most likely will never come back. It's probably gone forever now. Is that Lost Paul's fault? Absolutely not. So at the end, has Lost Paul responded to any of this? And he has actually. He first tweeted out Daco saying, I'm sorry that things turn out this way and that it affected the views. In solidarity, I will hide my video with the game trailer. Once again, I'm sorry to everyone who has suffered because of my game. I love you all. While yes, he did delete his trailer, he still has an OST of the game. He also went and deleted a bunch of tweets, so I highly doubt this video is going to be up any longer. But what else has he said? Well, we got hit with two last tweets from him, which is sorry for everything. Goodbye, FNAF Plus. Okay, he drops this. Holy crap, does that mean that FNAF Plus is actually gone forever? Well, sort of. He dropped this Google Doc of his last words. This is the final update of the game. I won't work on it anymore. They took my parody for the original and began to make fun of the fact that I saw it and added to the videos with the game fan made game. Although I thought this was very obvious. First of all, I just wanna say it's not obvious. Things aren't obvious to people. That's why Resident Evil 4 developers put like a goddamn block of yellow to tell you, hey, use this because things aren't obvious to people. And that's fine. Things aren't obvious to everyone. Um, that's why you take preparations to make sure that, hey, I'm going to make sure it is obvious to everyone. Forgive me for the fact that my humor, which turned out to be a joke, was taken as a serious insult to Phil. It was a serious insult. I'm not going to lie. I don't know why you would think people would take this apology and say, hey, yeah, you were just being funny, haha. -ha. No, dude, you were actually saying cancel the game, the dude's a bad person. No, like, don't even give him hope. And you said it's objectively true. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't know how to tell you that. You're just wrong on that part. I dreamed of giving you the game that you were waiting for and signing 100,000 people to my channel. But now I'm putting an end to my FNAF Plus. Which, you know what? I don't blame him. He wanted to make FNAF Plus come to reality. And I think he could have taken steps to actually get there. But the fact is he did it the wrong way. And that's just what happened. And as you can see, he also mentioned getting to 100,000 subscribers. Maybe this was going to be the push that gets him there. This is why you don't chase clout too much, because it's not going to end good for you at the end. I'm going to say if I were to rate this on every YouTuber's apology, I would say this is probably like a like a solid four. <laughs> this was not a good apology. Um, I do understand where he's coming from, where he's just wanted to make the game. But the fact that he made fun of Phil in the process and AI Scott's voice and then also started arguing with Kane Carter is not a good look for you, buddy. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody's going to take your side on this. It's not a good look. So you're wondering, has Phil said anything about this? And the answer is no, he hasn't. And I don't blame him. He is not going to say anything. He even turned off his chat for his live stream that's coming up because I know for a fact people are going to flood it and he's like, no, absolutely not. I don't want to deal with this and I don't blame him for that. But there is one person who is talking about this drama and that's me. Hi, I've never been in drama. Hello, nice to meet you. Uh, you should consider subscribing. Um, okay, now I won't chase clout too much because you know how that ends. Anyways, this last tweet perfectly sums up how I feel about this entire situation. <laughs> Me every time I see FNAF Plus on my timeline. <laughs> I swear one day FNAF Plus is going to be on a timeline and it's going to be something positive. Phil's back, Scott releases the game, something crazy is gonna happen, I don't know. But anyways, hope you enjoy your three-day weekend if you have one like me. If not, enjoy your weekend. 
I'll catch you in the next video. Subscribe, by the way. Um, I may, I don't do this kind of content normally. I usually make like normal gameplay stuff. Um, and I'm trying to get into doing reviews next. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.